In Central Florida and certainly beyond, the topic of flood insurance is unfortunately pretty popular right now. After Hurricanes Ian and Nicole wreaked havoc on our state, many homeowners were left dealing with the aftermath of an unexpected and pretty devastating amount of flooding in their homes. It was a harsh way to realize that flooding really can happen anywhere at any time, whether you live in a flood zone that requires insurance or not. What I want you to know is that flood insurance is something I believe every homeowner should have, and I'm here today to share with you a few reasons why and how you can go about purchasing it right now, even if you live in a low to moderate risk area. Every property is vulnerable to flooding. I previously mentioned this and unfortunately realized it during the most recent hurricane season. I also want you to know though, that more than 20% of the claims that are actually processed by the National Flood Insurance Program come outside of high risk flood areas. So what does this mean to you and what should you do about it? First, I want you to know that you can purchase flood insurance at any time. Now, yes, there's normally a 30 day waiting period before the policy will go into effect, but there are also exceptions to that rule as well that I want you to be aware of. The first would be that if you initially purchase flood insurance while you're securing, adjusting, or renewing a loan, that policy can go into effect immediately. Additionally, if you live in an area newly affected by a flood risk map change, there's an exception there as well. And let me just grab that last statement for a minute and go a little bit further. If you experience flooding, during the most recent hurricanes, now would be an ideal time to reach out to me as a trusted real estate advisor to have a conversation. In truth, FEMA may be making changes to local flood risk maps and I can help you navigate whether or not you now live in a high risk flood area and what that means for you, for your home, and for your insurance needs. Additionally, guys, it is important to remember that most homeowner insurance policies do not cover flood damage and many homeowners, unfortunately, do not find this out until it's too late. You must purchase insurance specific to flooding if you want to be covered in the event of a flood. Also, keep in mind, in the event of a flood, the federal disaster assistance that we all talk about or you hear about may be limited or even unavailable. There is no guarantee. However, with flood insurance, your home is covered whether or not the President of the United States declares the event a natural disaster. We go a little bit further with this. Even when a natural disaster is declared, a FEMA disaster grant on average is about $5,000 per household. And get this, by comparison, the average flood insurance claim is nearly $30,000. That is why it is so important to protect your home and the life you've built with flood insurance. If you're ready to talk about this very important subject to safeguard your home and your future, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always here as an advisor and I'm just a call, a text, or an email away. So let's talk soon.